Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Edmonton has a very unique resource in its community leagues. There are 162 of them representing every neighborhood in the city. They have halls, skating rinks, green spaces, and most run programs. We wanted to know how these neighborhood organizations are responding to climate change. Hello, I'm Laura cunningham Chaplay, and I'm the Executive Director for the Edmonton Federation of Community Leagues. We are here today at Spruce Avenue Community League. Community leagues are made up of Edmontonians, and I think Edmontonians are really concerned about climate change. I think we've seen over the last 10 years, our climate is changing. People are interested in solar, they're interested in sustainable initiatives. They're interested in where their food comes from. We're seeing such an explosion of gardening, of food production, local food production from boulevarding to community gardens. All sorts of things are happening across the city, and leagues are a part of it. Spruce Avenue is just one example. They've installed solar on their hall, done some energy efficiency upgrades, and they're wading into community gardening in a big way. So Spruce Avenue, like many leagues, has just started a community garden. Community gardens are really important for local sustainability initiatives. They really contribute to the local food economy. People really want to know where their food is from and have less impact on the environment while doing so. Parkdale Cromdale has, you know, created community garden spaces that are movable so that they can use their space at diff- for different things at different times of the year. Inglewood Community League also is one of our leagues that has put up some solar rays quite recently. And Cloverdale Community League, I mean, all of Folk Fest, thousands and thousands of Edmontonians every year pretty much look down at Cloverdale Community League and see an incredible league with, with all sorts of solar panels on it. And perhaps that's the superpower of community leagues. People trust their local groups, and actions taken at the league are seen by virtually everyone in the community. So we have 23 leagues across the city that have solar arrays. We have, um, from there, we've had almost 44 that have done energy audits on their facilities and their buildings. And so we see a lot of uptake in just figuring out ways big and small to make adjustments to league facilities. But the impact of that solar arrays on those 23 halls is huge. The big goal of Edmonton's energy transition plan is to get to net zero by 2050. And now community leagues are involved. You know, we got some money from Alberta EcoTrust to try to move, to work with six leagues to move them to net zero and really plan that out. So we're calling it the Pathways to Net Zero for Community Leagues. And I think we see the opportunity for leagues to really uh, start a movement here in Edmonton. We saw North Glenora Community League partnered with EFCL as well as the U of A, and we created a neighborhood climate action lab. And so that league has now a whole plan around how they can make climate action a reality in every block of their neighborhood. And really that league has taken that on. Neighbors have become engaged and they all see themselves as a a key piece to making a change in North Glenora. So that model is something that we're really fascinated by about how we can move that again to different leagues across the city to really grow this climate action approach. The Edmonton Federation of Community Leagues recognize this growing interest in climate resilience early on. You know, we started a Green Leagues program along with the City of Edmonton back in 2016. And this was an initiative to really be partners in finding ways to bring more sustainable opportunities for Edmontonians. So leagues being leaders in the neighbourhood. We know that as leagues build sustainable um, options in their community, such as the solar arrays, um, all sorts of pathways to net zero, doing energy audits on their halls, Those sort of things bring leadership and skills to the Edmontonians that are part of that community league board. Numerous community leagues are covering their entire electricity bill with solar. And when one league installs solar or starts a community garden, they inspire others to get involved too. Check out our other stories on inspiring people taking action at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.